Hey guys, Rob the Plumber here. This is a heat exchanger and it is meant to be used for hot water recovery from your shower. Today I'm going to show you how to make it. Before we begin, I suggest that you watch my first video on how to make a heat exchanger. I will be skipping a few steps in this video, um, basically due to time. If you want to learn how to prepare the copper and solder, I suggest you watch the video in the links below. To make this style of heat exchanger, you're going to need a few things. Uh, first, you're going to need 2 by 3 quarter inch preferred uh, reducing tees. You will need 2 by inch and a half reducing bushings. You are also going to need two pieces of pipe, inch and a half and two inch, approximately four to five feet of each. What, I, uh, what we're starting off here with is two, two inch by one inch reducing tees. I got two reducing bushings, two inch by inch and a half. I've got two pieces of pipe, since we're dealing with domestic pressure, this is type M, and this is type M also. Now see that edge stamped around the middle of the bushing? We need to remove that. We do that by using a Dremel tool. Like this. See now, I don't know if you can see the inside of that, but there, see? Now that's what you want. You want the pipe to slide nicely over top like that. Now here I am checking to see what length of pipe I need for my surrounding shroud. You want to make this as long as possible. Uh, I would suggest somewhere in the area of four and a half to five feet long, depending on your local code from your P-trap to your vent. That is the length of your exchanger. I'm going to use some rigid cutters here. First you slide your two inch over the inch and a half. Now slide your knee over top. Now this is basically what we're doing. This, this two inch is going to be the outer casing of the chamber. This is your surface area. This, this pipe is actually going to be your drain. Slide your bushing. Now, of course, it's not going to slide on. And there you go. There. So if we slide this off here you will see just see if I can that is how thick the chamber is you want it nice and evenly distributed your shower water goes through here and in this chamber this is where your domestic hot cold water goes through The green line is your three-quarter 
domestic water supply to your hot water tank. If you follow that, it goes through the exchanger, picks up the heat from your shower drain, which is marked in red. It then flows to the hot water tank, which in turn reheats the warm water, which later gets distributed amongst all your fixtures, which is marked in maroon. Like this is this would be your P trap for your shower. The waste would flow through the inner in, inch and a half copper, and your domestic cold water feeding your hot water tank would flow through the exchanger around the inch and a half waste pipe, heating up the cold water feeding your tank. 